Welcome to this screencast about Grail scaffolding. My name is Van Heiges and in this short screencast I will show you how you can easily set up a new Grails project and use Grail scaffolding to create CRUD actions on the main class. Let's begin. We first create a new Grails project with the Grails create-app command. I will call the application book app because I intend to have a small book management application. So let's cd into the new directory. And let's see how it looks like. We now start this application to see if everything is fine. Ok, we can now go on with creating a domain class. So we terminate the application and type grails create minus domain class. And of course the domain class will be called book. I will now open the book.groovy file which is in the grails minus app domain directory. I would normally use Eclipse with the Groovy plugin, but for the screencast it's easier to stick with one terminal window. So as you can see, the ID and version property have been already created for us. And now we'll just add a few more properties. We're gonna have an author, a title, release date and description. I also added a constraints closure that allows me to order the elements in the view. So first we're going to see the title, then we're going to see the author, which is restricted to Graham Rocher and the Koenig, the release date and description as a text area widget. We save this domain class and now we simply use Grails Generate All to create the necessary controller and views. Again it asks us for the domain class, which is book. And now it creates the artifacts. So what happened automatically is the creation of controller in Grails-app controller and also the views in Grails-app views book. We now start the application. Alright, so as you can see we've got a new book controller now. Let's open the book controller. This automatically shows the list view. We now create a new book. You can see the ordering is as expected. We change the date. And just add a description. You now see the show book view and you're allowed to edit or delete the book now. We just return to the book list and that's it for the screencast. Thanks a lot for watching.